Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 6. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 15 of Book 6. Now before I begin the proposition, I just want to briefly go over the difference between proportional and reciprocally proportional. If I have two figures, and if the sides of these two figures are proportional, so if we have A, B, and C, D, then if these two sides, or if the sides of these two figures are proportional, it means that A is to B as C is to D, or A is to C as B is to D. So either one of these two relationships implies proportional. Reciprocally proportional means A times B is equal to C times D, or A is to C as D is to B. And if you look at these two, this is proportional, and here we have B over D, here we have D over B. In other words, it's the reciprocal, and hence that's why this is called reciprocally proportional. So carrying on, what does this proposition assert? Well, it asserts, it asserts that if we have two angles in a, sorry, if we have two triangles, where one of the angles are equal in both of the triangles, so alpha is equal to theta, and if the areas of these two triangles are equal, then this proposition asserts that the sides of the triangles are reciprocally proportional. In other words, AC is to AD as AE is to AB. Likewise, again, if we have these two triangles with the angles equal, if the sides of these two triangles are reciprocally proportional, then this proposition states that that implies that the areas of the triangle are equal. So let's begin by starting with part one of this proof. So we are starting with the assumption that these two angles are the same and that the areas of the two triangles are equal. Now we are going to line up these two triangles so that these lines DC and BE fall in a straight line, which is doable, and you can check that out, Proposition 14 of Book 1. So DC and BE form lines. We create a new triangle by drawing a line from B to D. Now remember, ABC is equal to DAE, and since BAD is common on both sides, we can create, using Proposition 7 of Book 5, the ratios that ABC to BAD will be equal to DAE to BAD. Again, Proposition 7 of Book 5. So let's look at these two triangles. So according to Proposition 1 of Book 6, you have two triangles that share a common base and a common vertex. And according to that proposition, the ratio of the area of the two triangles is equal to the ratio of the length of their bases. So in other words, the area of ABC to BAD is equal to the ratio of AC to AD. Similarly, we can show that the ratio of the area of BAD to DAE is equal to the ratio of BA to AE. Now, this ratio is equal to that ratio. In other words, these two are equal to each other, which means that these two ratios are equal to each other. Proposition 11, Book 5. So in other words, the ratio of AC, so where's AC? AC to AD is equal to AE to AB. This is reciprocal proportion. So thus we have shown that if the angles are equal and the areas are equal, that the Ratios of the sides are reciprocally proportional. 
part two of this proof is very similar, but it's just the inverse. And we're basically saying, again, the two angles are equal. And if the lengths of the sides are reciprocally proportional, then the areas are equal. So again, we start off by drawing a line BD. BE and CD are straight lines. And we have this new triangle BAD. We have two triangles on a common base with a common vertex. So AC to AD, in other words, the ratio of the bases, is equal to the ratio of the areas. So AC to AD is equal to the area of ABC to the area of BAD. Similarly, the ratio of the bases here is equal to the ratio of the areas. So AE to AB is equal to the ratio of the area of DAE to the area of BAD. Now again, AE to AB is equal to AC to AD. So in other words, right here, these two ratios are equal, which means these two ratios are equal. And if we rewrite it, we have that ABC to BAD is equal to DAE to BAD. But we have BAD on both sides, which means it can be eliminated. And we can clearly state via Proposition 9 of Book 5 that the area of ABC is equal to the area of DAE. And thus we have shown that if the angles are equal and the sides are reciprocally proportional, then the area of the two triangles are equal. And that's it for this video.